Exercise two, whereby we're going to see how we can divide the line based on the given ratio. So the question reads, divide the given line x, y of level 100 millimeters to the given ratio. Two is to three is to five and one is to four is to seven. So let's have a go. Now, let's look at exercise two. So this time, we've been told to divide two lines. So we've got line AB and line XY. For AB, we've been instructed to divide the line if given the ratio two is to three is to five. Two is to three is to five. So how do we go about dividing the line with respect to this particular ratio? Well, it's not complicated. All we have to do is add the ratios. So we add two and three, that gives us five. Five plus five gives us 10. So we're going to divide line AB into 10 equal parts. And then once we've done that, we're going to then establish the division respect to the given ratios to complete the problem. So this is what we do. So similar to the previous exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an inclined projectile, okay, and again between 20 degrees and 60 degrees, okay, and I'm going to project through A, okay, so let's just call this red, this line, so again let's call that AC, all right, and again get our compass open to a reasonable length okay so let's just keep it at 15. and similar to the previous exercise i'm going to then scribe starting at a and i'm going to cut along the projected ray ac so that gives us position one stand at one cut to two stand at two cut for three stand at three cut for four, stand at four, cut for five, stand at five, cut for six, stand at six, cut for seven, stand at seven, cut for eight, stand at eight, cut for nine, and stand at nine, and you cut for ten. So we've got ten equal divisions. So again, let's label those. So that's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm very certain I'm going to um, people are probably wondering why is it that I'm using faint lines? So if you go back to the last technical event that we uh, video that I placed on, I talked about lines. So, in terms of constructing, you tend to use faint uh, lines. So that's why I've, it's quite faint. Now, if it went for this particular exercise, um, when I do my um, construction lines, they tend to be extremely faint. But for the purposes of what we're doing, I think it's quite important that I do um, press down a bit on um, the pencil so that you can see the construction lines. Okay. All right. So we've done that. So that's just kind of like, um, by the way. So what I'm going to do, similar to the previous exercises, I'm going to join the end of line AB to the last cut at 10. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my set square. Place the set square in such a way that it's in perfect alignment with B10 or 10B. Then I'm going to put another straight edge underneath that. 
and I'm then going to slide the set square to ensure that the projections to each point on our line AC ray, our model is going to be parallel to B10. All right, so at nine, project to cut, eight, project to cut, seven, Project to cut six. Project to cut five. Project to cut four. Project to cut three. Project to cut two. Project to cut and the last one one. Project to cut. So based on the ratio given, we successfully divided the line, 10 equal parts. Now that we've done that, the next part is to then define the divisions with respect to the ratio. So let's start. So we go one, two. Okay, so this gives us two. So that is R2. Then the next part was three. So you count one, two, three. So that will be on the five. Then the next one was five. So after R3, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. And there we have it. So this would be two. So let's bring our T square. So this would be two, three, and then five. And here we have it. So we've divided the line with respect to the given ratio. Two is to three is to five. All right. So let's have a go again. And this time we're going to divide line X, Y with respect to the given ratio. One is to four is to seven. So all that we have to do is just add the ratios together to give us a clear idea in terms of how many portions do we need to divide the line in or to divide the line by. So one plus four is equal to five. Five plus seven will give us 12. So this time we're going to divide this line X, Y into 12 equal parts. Okay. All right, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a ray through Y. So again, using good judgment, draw our ray, all right? So let's call this ray Y, Z, all right? And again, you get your compass, so again, similar to the previous examples. I'm going to divide that into 12 equal parts. So I'm going to stand at Y, cut to give us 0.1, cut to give us two, cut to give us three, then cut to give us four, Stand at four, cut to give us five. Stand at five, cut to give us six. Stand at six, 
cut to give us seven. It's down at seven. Cut to give us eight. It's down at eight. Cut to give us nine. Nine, cut, ten. Ten, cut, eleven. Eleven, cut, twelve. And then similar to the rest, I'm going to number the divisions. So we've got division one, division two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. So what's the next part? So the next part, so we're almost done, is to connect the end of the line, which would be X to 12. Like so. Then as usual, we get our set square. Place that set square to ensure that it's in line with X 12. Okay, and again, get our straight edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide the set square, project through the demarcations to cut our primary line X, Y. So 11, project to cut. 10, project to cut. 9, project to cut. 8, project to cut. 7, Project to cut, six. Project to cut, five. Project to cut, four. So, reset that. Okay, so four. Project to cut, three. Project to cut. Begin to sound like uh, a song, right? Yeah. Two project to cut and one project to cut. Okay, so based on the ratio given, we've divided the line with respect to one is the four is the five. So let's show this on the line. So we start from y to one. I don't know how many to use it in detail for this one. Then we're going to count from one. So this would be one, two, three, four. So we stand at five. And then from five, we're going to count away from five, seven steps or seven divisions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that gives us confirmation that we've done this accurately. Okay, and there we have it. So let me just bring my trusted T square. So we're going to start from, so that is one, that bit there is four, and the last bit is seven. And there we have it, okay. Not too complicated. So, hopefully, by going through these two exercises, it gives you a sense of how you can go about using these simple techniques in dividing lines into whatever um, divisions you want. And as I stated, this particular concept, this particular technique will come in handy down the line when we start looking at some ellipse construction, um, engineering drawings and scale drawings and things like that, which I intend to cover down the line. So folks, on that note, um, have a go and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.